Hi there, this is Sam from MyPhysioSays.com and today I'm going to talk to you about an injury called tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. With this injury, you may feel some pain on the outer portion of the elbow which is tender to the touch and it's often irritated with things like gripping or t um, prolonged typing um, or, or lifting or turning doorknobs or things as such. Um, this can be a very painful and debilitating injury that causes people to take time off work or not be able to return to sport or activity. Um, so today I'd like to talk to you about why people get this injury as well as provide you some exercises to help manage the, the, um, the problem. Now, tennis elbow is related to a couple muscles that run onto the forearm. These muscles start from the hand, they cross the wrist, and then they end right at the elbow. And typically they're aggravated by repetitive use of the wrist or the fingers such as typing. Um, and often in an outstretched position as well. Um, it tends to be more related to wrist and hand movements than actually elbow movements despite its name. And it tends to be related to activities that aren't tennis um, despite its name as well. Uh, most people I find will have this as a result of office work, lots of typing, um, gripping. Um, I've had a lot of people who get it from using a knife like a butcher or something like that. Um, so these types of activities that require specific gripping can also have an impact at co um, and can cause pain as well. So the um, main thing that we want to do is we want to really teach our bodies how to properly use the upper extremity, including the hand, wrist, and elbow, so that we're not overusing any specific muscles. Um, a lot of this comes from providing stability to the shoulder blade so that we're having a nice strong foundation for the rest of the arm to lever from. So recovery for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis will often include stretching the muscles of the forearm, and strengthening the shoulder blade muscles so that they're in a nice, uh, better position, postural awareness, um, ergonomic um, adjustments if necessary, um, as well as some strengthening through the muscles that cross that wrist and into the forearm. Um, a lot of times I see people who are doing a lot of wrist extension type of exercises, like this using weights or TheraBand to help improve the strength of the wrist extensors. Um, this can be helpful, but it's not very functional. There's not a lot of things that we do in our day-to-day -day that require us to be really strong in this direction. Um, what we do, however, need to be able to do is, is uh, stabilize and prevent any additional movements that actually happen through there. So I like to do isometric type exercises at first um, for this area. So really training the wrist to be able to maintain a neutral position and loading that with some um, either weight or resistance bands. So this can be a helpful way to help build some of that strength. If you'd like to hear more about injuries like this one, please hit the bell and subscribe. Thanks for watching.